Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I'm going to be giving you some romance recommendations that are on Kindle Unlimited. Baby, baby. I love Kindle Unlimited, it's a subscription service you can get through Amazon where you pay a certain amount of money a month to have unlimited access to their Kindle Unlimited catalog. A lot of romance books are on Kindle Unlimited and I adore it. These recommendations range according to romance genres, so we have fantasy romance, paranormal romance, contemporary romance, uh, alien romance, a bunch of different recommendations are on here. So let's jump right on into these books. The first book that I have is an oldie but a goodie. We have The Midwinter Mail Order Bride by Katie Wilde. This book was very popular in the romance booktube sphere, I want to say last year or the year before. And this one is so good. It's a fantasy romance where the heroine decides to kill this conqueror, kill the conqueror, but she goes to his kingdom to marry him, but then she gets drunk on the way there and um, she blurts out that she wants to kill him to his face. <laughs> like uh, when she gets there and he's like, no, 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 this is not happening. I'll take you back to your home. And so they travel together back to her home kingdom and they may or may not end up falling for each other on the journey back. If you love a good road trip romance, I only like road trip romances in fantasy romances. This one was just so good. It was so good, it's short but it's good. Kale is a very big broody hero who is scarred and thinks that no one could love him because of the way he looks and our heroine Anya proves him wrong and shows him how she doesn't actually want to kill him anymore. <laughs> um, so I just, I love this one. I need more people to read it. Next is one of my favorites ever. Let me grab it. It's, it's my display one right here. Um, we have the King's Spinster Bride by Ruby Dixon. This one is one of my favorite fantasy books of all time. Literally fantasy books of all time. And look how short it is. Like, it is teeny weeny, but this book packs a punch, okay? This book is about Hala and Mathior. So when Hala was, I wanna say like 16 or something, her dad, who was the king of this land of Yashrem, ends up kidnapping the son to a nape, to like a very powerful, um tribe and he's like six or eight years old at the time and he kidnaps him and while he's there in the kingdom Hala decides to protect him because he's in a kingdom full of his enemies so Hala's father ends up getting conquered by the little boy's father and Matthew or tells his dad not to kill Hala because she protected him while he was here and so his dad is like okay but I'm conquering this land now this land is mine I won't kill you but I exile you and so she has been living in this kind of like nunnery for quite a while and it is years later she is considered a spinster now she has decided to just live in this nunnery for the rest of her life being a spinster but now Matthior that young boy is old enough to be king um, and so he has taken over the land and for years all he's ever thought about is Hala. All he's ever wanted is Hala. And so he goes and seeks her out and finds her and is like, I want to marry you. But in order to marry me, you have to do these barbarian customs. According to my people, they are customs. And there's like three rituals you have to do that are just like hot, very hot. <laughs> this one is just so stinking good. You wouldn't think a novella would be a favorite book of mine, but it is. Uh, they also came out with a new cover. Look how pretty this cover is too. It's stunning. Um, but I do, I do love this cover too, but I love this one and I need more people to read it because it is so stinking good. Next I have Rush by Candy Steiner. Now this one isn't necessarily a favorite of mine, but I know that it is a favorite of many of my booktube friends. So I ended up giving this book like 3.5 stars. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't love it. But again, I know that many of my friends do. So this is the first book in the Palm South University series. This book very much reads like a Netflix drama, just like college drama book centered around a bunch of different characters. And there's like, it goes on for like forever. Like each book is technically like a different season in a show kind of. And so I don't really know what else to say about it, but I know that other people love it. If you love college romances, and if you also love like kind of like soap operas or like drama shows along those lines, I would probably read this and you probably will love it. I personally did it because I don't really care about drama stuff. So, but I know that other people do love it. So, but this series, this whole entire series is on Kindle Unlimited. So next time an alien romance, we have Blind Fall by Amanda Milo. I heard one in here is a human woman. Her and her guide dog Coda end up getting abducted from Earth. She is blind, so she needs Coda to get around. And she is put up for auction in this slave auction. And our hero, who's an alien on this planet, um, who runs a farm, ends up seeing her on this platform and he doesn't buy slaves, but he notices that gross 
aliens who live on the planet are like gawking at her are now bidding to buy her and he's like i'm gonna save her from those gross guys and so he puts in a bid and he wins her and he basically tells her when she comes to him is like i bought you to save you hopefully my friend who works in like the spaceship department of the planet can um return you to your home planet and so she goes to stay with him on his farm and it is so cute like this hero in here is one of the sweetest beings ever like he he totally falls for her he becomes smitten with her he tries to understand her and her human ways she gets her period in this book and like bleeds all over the sheets and he's like freaking out thinking like she's like dying or something and she's like no 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 i'm fine <laughs> Um, and it's just really interesting to read from the perspective of a blind heroine. I just really like the perspective of different kinds of characters, characters you don't normally read about, you don't normally read about a blind heroine. And so I really loved the diversity in this book. I also loved Coda, the guide dog. He was super cute, super sweet. I just love this book in general. It's one of my favorite alien romance books ever. Another alien romance is His Human Nanny by Michelle Mills. Our heroine in here gets hired to be a nanny for this creature. Um, so our heroine is human. Isn't this cover just beautiful and stunning, by the way? She's a plus size heroine and the cover shows it. We love to see it. So our heroine gets hired as a nanny for this guy. And he essentially looks like what we would consider like the stereotypical devil to look like. He's red, has horns, the barbed tail, the whole nine yards. And so when he picks her up from the train station on his planet, she takes one look at him and faints because she thinks she's looking at the devil. <laughs> um, and so when she comes to, she realizes that he's actually a really, really, really sweet guy. He's one of like the richest guys on the planet too. And so he's asked her to help him take care of his twin babies that were left at his doorstep. Um, and so she helps take care of the babies and she's never had any prior nanny experience to this so she's kind of like learning as she goes but she starts to fall in love with these kids and then she falls in love with him and it is so cute this is one of the best nanny romances ever i just i loved it it was so fun next i have a mafia romance called ruthless stranger by maggie cole the whole mafia wars series is on kindle unlimited i love this book <laughs> uh this is a mafia romance and our hero is in the mafia or mafia adjacent kind of anyway our heroine in here she just got a divorce i think yeah she got a divorce at the beginning of this book this is like an older couple by the way they're like in their 40s i want to say anyway our heroine and her girlfriends end up taking a vacation to like las vegas to celebrate the heroine's divorce because the guy she was married to was a complete and total doo-doo head you know um and so she's like talking to her friends about this fantasy that she has about like hooking up with a guy and not knowing who he is but having an amazing hot wonderful night together and then going their separate ways when they're done and so our hero in here who is in las vegas for a different reason overhears this conversation and is like i kind of want to do that with her and so he confronts like her friends and goes up to her friends and is like i overheard this conversation can i be this person for your friend and so they agree to it. They do all like a background check on him. They take his wallet, take his keys to make sure he doesn't like try to kill her or sneak out or whatever. And so um, they tell her the plan and she's blindfolded the entire time and doesn't know what he looks like, but she knows his voice so well and he's it's deep and raspy and sexy, obviously. <laughs> and so then they have an amazing, amazing night together. And when she walks into work, when she's done with her vacation, she goes back home. She walks into work the next day and she can hear his voice in the boardroom. And so she walks in and he looks at her and she looks at him and they know exactly who the other person is. Like it is so stinking good. This one is my favorite mafia books ever. It is so amazing. I need to read the rest of the series for sure. So if you have not read this book yet and you love mafia romances, read this one. Of course I have a Jessica Kane for you. We have queen sized. Uh, this is kind of like I want to say fantasy. I don't know if it reminds me of like a medieval romance because it doesn't take place during like our time, but it has to deal with royalty. So this is about Gwen who is in search of a rich husband to help provide a better um, life for her younger siblings because she's taking care of them. And so there's something called the, I think it's called like the bride games or something um, where men watch these women perform these tasks and games. And by the end of it, they propose to one of the women. And so there's many men looking at these women trying to see which one they want for a wife. And so Lady Gwen is one of those women and the king of the land, King Corbett, um, is also there. 
and he takes one look at Gwen and knows that he is super attracted to her. However, he doesn't want to get married ever. He just wants her as his mistress and she's trying to tell him like she can't be a mistress. She, she needs a husband and then it goes on from there. There's obviously like a push and pull because she needs a husband and she doesn't want to be married. I really like this one. This isn't my favorite by her, but it was a very, very, very fun thing to read. Next I have Getting Schooled by Christina C. Jones. This is a college setting romance. So this is about Reese who is the uh, TA for her mom who is a professor and so she grades papers for her mom and uh reads the essays and everything and she's starting to like fall for this guy's writing in her class and like is greeting it and loving it and then she realizes who the guy is in the class and then they start up like a relationship but at first it's very much enemies to lovers they bicker a lot they don't really get along but i loved this one this one was so sweet it's my first christina c jones and i definitely want to read more by her next i have another fantasy romance we have the fake king's curse by jamie schlosser so this romance is between quinn and kirian and so when quinn is around i want to say 11 or something she ends up finding this boy almost drowning in the river on her parents property so she ends up saving him and she realizes he's from a different land like he transported through a portal his name is kirian and he ends up visiting quinn every single day but every day kirian grows more and more and more it's because kirian is fey he's from a fey land and one whole year in this fey land equals one day on earth so kirian has to wait an entire year to see Quinn, but Quinn gets to see Kirian every single day. That might sound a little strange, but it makes sense when you read the book. And so for years, up until she's, I wanna say 18 or 19, they're seeing each other every day in Quinn's time. Kirian is actually also blind. He's been cursed by these witches where um, he will not be able to get his sight back until he sees his mate or finds his mate, but you have to like see your mate for the mating bond to happen, um, but he's he's blind. <laughs> Kirian and Quinn become very close friends because they're seeing each other every single day. And so when she's like 18 or 19, she comes up to him and is like, I have to go away. I won't see you for three months. I'm gonna go to college. And he's like, no, I can't live without you. I can't bear to not see you for that long because they've been seeing each other for years, like being best friends for years. And so then he grabs her and takes her through the Fae portal to keep her there. And then they've also admit their feelings for each other because they've been crushing on one another, obviously. Um, and Kirian may or may not realize that Quinn is actually his mate. Um, I love this one. If you love fae romances, I think you would adore this. Uh, there's two other books in this series. I haven't read them yet. I have read the prequel, which is so good, but I don't think it's on KU, unfortunately. I did buy a physical version of it, um, but that one is really good too. It's about Kyrian's parents, and it's like a Romeo and Juliet forbidden romance. Um, I love that one. The last book I want to mention is another alien romance. <laughs> this one is Ensnared by Tiffany Roberts. This one is a spider romance. <laughs> Like a mon spider monster romance. So our heroine Ivy in here, her spaceship ends up crashing on Katon's planet. And so Katon ends up finding her in cryo sleep and wakes her up on accident and takes her back to his nest thinking that she's some kind of pet. And then he realizes that she's an actual person that has feelings and can communicate and everything. And he's like, hmm, she's a woman. And then they start falling for each other. They start to like learn each other's language and fall in love with one another. I've only read book one, but this is a trilogy. So each book of the trilogy is centered around Ivy and Katon. So the first book kind of ended on a cliffhanger. And so I'm wanting to read book two and three very, very soon. But I just, I adored this. And I think Tiffany Roberts did an amazing job of this series. Alien Romances are my bread and butter. This one is just great, okay? This one is one of my favorites. So there you have it. Those are some Kindle Unlimited romance recommendations for you. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you have watched this far into the video, leave me a orange heart emoji. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.